Hello again guys, this is Dijon with a late night special. Um, I don't have to work tomorrow morning, so I've played around in Minecraft until... Well, let's say it's fairly late. Um, basically, this particular video is going to show off my uh, automated wheat farm, which I'm sure most of you have seen the wheat farm system before, where the water flows over the crops and delivers um, all the products to a centralised collection point, and this is essentially that. But there are a couple of key differences. I've um, added a bit of redstone into the mix to make the process a little bit more interesting. Um, but I suppose I'll just step you through it to show you roughly how it all works. Um, I'll show you what happens. What I've allowed to happen is I've allowed you the choice to choose whether you want to collect the wheat from just the left side, uh, just the right side, or both sides. Um, so if I flick this switch, the light will come on, that means this side will be collect collected. If I flick this switch, the light will come on and this side will be collected. So. If, for example, there were quite a few immature wheats on this side, then you'd leave that one turned off, and this one turned on. Um, like so. And as you can see, it works quite effectively. The best part of the process is you can get off the plate, and um, it will obviously just continue it until all the items have looted. Like so. Um, of course this is using pistons. Um, oh, and I'll just show you that it does work the other way around. There we go, and this is what I mean by set and forget. You can just let it go until all the stuff drops down. Oh, I might have to make the fences a bit higher, it looks like. One jumped a little bit too high. There we go. And um, just to prove that both will work if you do it that way, that works like that. Okay, so basically the way this one works, um, we have two end gates um, in the redstone, both below these two fields. Um, this is the in one of the inputs per end gate, so um, and and this is the other input per end gate. So both this one and this one must be powered on for these pistons to operate and both this one and this one must be powered for these pistons to operate. I'll go below to show you what I mean. Um, it's pretty simple redstone wiring. Um, these are all the pistons. Um, the repeaters are just there so that the each piston gets powered individually. Um, if you just had a line of redstone then it, the, the current will pass adjacent to the um, pistons rather than directly towards them. So that's what they're there for. Um, here are the AND gates. This wire um, comes from the pressure plate up there, um, which leads into the back input of these two AND gates. And um, this wire here comes from the switch above ground. And um, all this extra wiring in the corner here is just to make that redstone torch light up next to the um, uh, next to the switch. Believe it or not, that was the trickiest part of the whole contraption. Um, I'll go above ground and show you in a little bit more detail how all this works. I have a mock-up of one of the things set up here. Um, just imagine that there's a row of these blocking the water, um, which I suppose I should just show you a little bit clearer too. Um, so yeah, you can see all the pistons are holding a stone block up, which uh, holds the water back. 
Anyway, back to my little mock-up design over here. If you just hit the pad when it's off, nothing happens. But if you flick the switch, then it goes. Um, the best thing about this too is it the the grass or the the dirt, I should say, all stays tilled. So it's a pretty simple process to replant. You just put your stuff straight back in. without having to go um, and it harvests pretty easily as well um, I think that's about all I really wanted to go through with this one this design I made because I'm going to implementing it sorry I'm going to be implementing it into my adventure map which is upcoming um, alongside several other redstone contraptions and um, a few redstone puzzles which um, involve not only pistons but um, well all the, all the traditional stuff I suppose too um, so yeah I think that's pretty much it I hope you've enjoyed that video and I hope this will help with your redstone endeavors see you later